Game gates. I've got some video here that I'm going to share with you and then we'll talk about how to fix this issue with this horse. Uh, belongs to a friend of mine out on the west coast and she sent me this video and asked me for some help. I have limited video and limited information on this horse but right off the bat I can tell you that this horse is pacing and sometimes doing a stepping pace but it's pacing it almost looks lame behind, but I bet that it is not lame. Um, it is way out of balance. It is dumping on its front end. It has absolutely no training in the face. And um, this person is desperately trying to get the horse to gate. And what we need to do, first of all, is we're going to slow this down so we can really look at what this horse is doing and what we need to do to fix this horse. And the problem is that the horse is sort of being asked to do something that it really has no idea what is wanted of it. And here you can see, now the rider is deceived because it's pretty smooth. They th think, uh, just judging from the audio that I could hear that this horse is racking uh, the horse is not racking, the horse is pacing, and once in a while it's doing a stepping pace. Now, the pace would be both legs on the same side, hitting the ground at the same time. And you can see that happening here. Now, a stepping pace would be the back leg hitting the ground just a hair ahead of the front foot. That's not a true gait. It's a stepping pace and it can feel kind of smooth, but it's very uncomfortable. It was bad for the horse because the horse is hollow in the back, high in the head, trying to make his neck upside down. The rider's holding his face, so he's dumping on his front end. He's relying on the rider to hold him up. And it's real easy to get trapped with a horse like that. Now, right off the bat, here's the picture of the horse being mounted. And the horse has to be held by someone on the other side. His ears are back, his mouth is open, and he's unloaded his hind leg on the rider's side. I'm not getting on a horse like this. He is not happy. So what I'm going to do is give her some ideas on what to do to get this horse to relax, to mentally relax, to physically relax, to drop his head, to round his back, and to do a four beat walk, we have to walk before we can gait this horse. So stick around and let's get to it. Welcome to Dream Gates in Raleigh, North Carolina. This video is specifically for a good friend of mine that's on the West Coast and I'm on the East Coast, but this might help somebody else that has this very common problem with gated horses. Uh, she acquired a gated horse that's very defensive in the mouth, high head, tight in the body, pacey, um, er, the kind of horse that was just people hanging on its mouth. Every video that I've seen of this horse, um, it appears that his mouth has been hung on in the past a lot. So I'm just going to give her a few simple exercises. I've already talked to her about the ground school exercises. I'll do that video later. Um, and first and foremost, we're going to have the teeth checked and we're gonna have the chiropractor go over that horse and see where he's sore. And if he's not sore, then she can proceed with the ground school and the riding. But today, since I'm saddled up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the riding segment. So this is my spotted saddle horse I've had for a few years. His name is Magic and um, he is a gated horse. And, but I simply, I just have him in a simple snaffle, which is what I would do this exercise in with her horse. Maybe a dog bone three-piece snaffle would be better for him because he definitely has issues with having been damaged in the mouth by a bit. So um, I'm going to use the broken mouthpiece to show the exercises that I'm going to suggest that she does with her new horse. The first thing I'm going to suggest to her is to use a mounting block instead of mounting this horse from the ground. He's very, very tall and pulling the saddle over on his back and twisting his skin and all of that. He's already very defensive, so I would suggest using the mounting block. And when she does so, um, I, would, I would stand on the mounting block 
and make sure his head is, is in a natural position. If he comes up here and he raises his head, then this is where I would spend all my time till I got that head down. If his head comes up here like this, then she needs to get back down on the ground and she needs to do some softening exercises to get him to lower his head. When she comes up here, that head needs to stay down, just like that. He shouldn't change at all. He shouldn't get defensive. See, when I come up on my horse, he doesn't get defensive at all. Check my cinch. Okay, and then when she steps up on him, then he needs to stand there for a while. He needs to stand there for a while. I'm kicking him trying to get my stirrup cool. He needs to stand there for a while, okay? Just let him stand and just rub him. And then ask him to walk off, but on a loose rein. Just keep your rein loose. I'm just going to let him go wherever he wants. I want his head down. He's, he's going to be waiting for me to pick up on the reins. If I pick up on the rein, it's just going to be a one rein stop. Just like that. And when I let go of the rein, I don't want his head snapping back forward like a rubber band. See how when I let go, he brings it around. So I'm just going to ask this horse to move off. And if he throws his head up and he starts to pace off, just bring it around in a circle and just let him on one rein and just wait for his feet to stop. Okay. And when his feet stop, drop the reins. And if he walks off, that's fine. Okay. Just let him walk off. But if he speeds up, you're going to pick up that rein. And this is after the ground exercises you're going to do so that it doesn't fall on its face. If it speeds up, just do this. Then drop the rein and see what he does. If he just stands there, which he probably won't, but if he does, just stand there with him for a while, okay? Just stand there with him for a while. Okay, then ask him to move off, but don't pick up your reins. I would do this in a round pen. I'm turning him just because the camera's over there. Um, I would do this in a round pen on a horse that's charging like that horse. And you just sit up there and give him the reins. Because what he's going to do, probably, is he's going to throw his head up and he's going to be looking for your hands. He's going to dive into that. Because here's the way people have been riding him. They've been riding him like this. And he needs to be let go. Okay. So he's going to be, oh, oh, he's going to be charging around and he's going to be pacing around. And so you want to resist the, the desire to do this, okay? So just go ahead and let him, let him walk as long as he's walking and just let him go wherever he wants. And if he stops, you know, just kick, just kick him off. <laughs> um, don't let go of the reins, but uh, okay, so let him go where he wants. Now, let's say that he, he speeds up. I gotta get some more camera. Okay, so, speeds up. Okay, as soon as he speeds up, I'm gonna bring him into a circle. Now, if he's clumsy, I wouldn't do a tight one rein stop because he'll fall on you. Gated horses fall on people. So, I would just do a spiral spiral down until he stops and when he stops I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna pick it up again and I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna pick it up again like that and see how his see how he's keeping his head over here to the side it, it keeps snapping back to the front you just want to keep doing that okay then let him get his head forward and see if he goes again I'm just pushing this horse because he won't go And you don't care where he goes. Just let him go wherever he wants to. Let him go wherever he wants to. You're going to be in a round pen. It doesn't matter where he goes. Because you want to resist this. Everybody wants to do this. And that horse has had way too much of this in the wrong way. Because he doesn't know how to soften. Okay, that horse does not know how to soften in the face like this one does. See that? See that? That horse doesn't know how to do that. That horse goes whoop, uh, and pokes its nose out. And you could mechanically create that. You could um, 
do, you know, you can do all kinds of things mechanically, but that's really not going to teach him anything. The best thing to do are these drills. All right. Now, if he speeds up, you know, once in a while, you slide your hand down the rein, bring it around, you know, and just keep him in a little circle until he stops. And you might have to look off into the trees to not get dizzy. Okay. And then once he stops, bring his nose around, let go. See how he keeps his head over here? Eventually, that's what you're going to want. Just like that. Now, these, this horse is an older horse that she's working with. He's 10 years old, and he's been ridden incorrectly his whole life. So this isn't going to get fixed overnight. This is going to take some time. So I would say, you know, do it once or twice a day for 10 or 15 minutes, uh, as many days as it takes to where you can come in, get on the horse, his head is down, he's soft. When you ask him to move forward, he walks off. He walks around with his head like this. Uh, he stops when you ask him to. I would also, after you teach him to back from the ground, I'd back him from the saddle every single time I stop. And I just keep everything really slow, like if you're training a cow horse. Um, you know, basic, good training is good training. Whatever breed you're working with, you don't have gated training and quarter horse training. And all the basics should be the same. So we need to take this horse back to ground zero, do the ground, do the, check the teeth, check the chiropractic, do the ground school that I'm gonna show you, and then um, do this riding. This will be the first of several exercises that we're gonna do. But what you want out of this is a horse that stands quietly to mount, walks forward softly, uh, stops when you, and, and maintains the walk. Really, basically, this is about maintaining a walk, okay? Maintaining a walk and stopping when you want the horse to stop and standing quietly. And let me tell you, that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it is a whole lot. I've seen video of this horse. I've seen pictures of this horse's attitude, which is defensive, not aggressive. Uh, he just doesn't want to get hurt anymore. He doesn't want to have his mouth hauled on anymore. Uh, he doesn't want to, he's just tight. This horse is so tight. So lots of suppling, lots of giving, lots of bending, lots of one rein stops, but really just a small circle pulled down. Cause if you pull a gated horse that's going fast into a one rein stop, it'll fall on you. Okay. So you don't want to do that. Uh, just pull that so you can spiral a circle down just like I was doing with him until the day that you can get on him, his head's down and he walks off and then you can proceed from there, okay? I hope this helps and looking forward to seeing you one of these days, my good friend, and I hope this will help anybody who's having this very common problem with gated horses. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll consider liking, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. Done.